FWeb's parallax scrolling feature gives you a great way to visually tell stories in your website. In the following example, we will create a simple story about the creation of the universe. These instructions can be used for any page layout type in EverWeb. If you are creating your own story using a fixed width page layout, such as a centered layout, you will probably need to create a desktop and a mobile version of the page, and adapt these instructions as required. In this example, I am going to create my story using a responsive page layout. First of all, I am going to create a blank responsive page. I will set the page background to none and the browser background to color. I am going to use black as my background color. Next, I am going to create the narration of my story using text boxes. For each step of the story, I will create a new text box. As this is a responsive page layout, when I add a text box to my page, it is added as a full width object, which is perfect for my needs. Enter the text that you want, then highlight the text and press Command plus T to open up the fonts panel. The text box uses a 48 point Futura font of medium weight. When you have finished making your changes, press Command plus T again to close the fonts panel. Now go to the text inspector. Use the horizontal and vertical alignment buttons to center the text. I am now going to add a carriage return before the line of text, as I will be using the before and after paragraph features of the text inspector later on. Once I have created my first text box, I can duplicate it as many times as I need. As you can see, I now have five text boxes, as my story is a very simplistic one. For the next step, I need to find some great images to use as parallax scrolling image backgrounds. The images I am using in this example all come from Everweb's free stock photo library. Each image that I select will complement the part of the story that each text box is telling. Before selecting your images, click on the Assets tab. When you have located an image that you want to use, drag it from the Stock Photo Library search window into the Assets tab so that you can save it for later use. Once you have added all the images that you want to use to the Assets list, select the first text box that you want to add a background image to. In my example, I am going to add an image to the text box There Was a Big Bang. With the text box selected, Go to the Shape Options tab. In the Fill section, change the drop down menu option to Image Fill. Click on the Choose button and select the image that you want to use from the Assets list. Once the image background has been added, check to make sure that the Image Scaling option is set to Scale to Fill. Next, check the box Parallax Scrolling. You will not notice any difference in the editor window, but you will when you preview or publish your site. Now that you have the text with the background image, go to the text inspector. Use the before paragraph and after paragraph settings to add space before and after the text. To create the right look, you may need to add extra carriage returns before or after your text. When adding space, do not exceed the height of the image, as this may produce unexpected results. Once you have finished with all of the text boxes, preview your page to see the parallax effect at work. Note that I have kept the footer section, as this acts as a nice stop point for my story. Test your page on different devices, as what you see on mobile devices will be different to what you see on desktop devices.